एस बोर्ड टर्म वन इस वीडियो में हम लोग हिस्ट्री सैम्पल पी पेपर को डिस्कस करेंगे क्वेश्चन पेपर डिस्कस करने के पहले सबसे पहले हम सैम्पल पेपर के इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स को देख लेते हैं इस सैम्पल पेपर में टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस 60 हैं सेक्शन ए में टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस 24 सेक्शन बी में 22 सेक्शन सी में 12 क्वेश्चंस एंड सेक्शन डी इसमें दो क्वेश्चंस हैं तो इस तरह से टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन द क्वेश्चन पेपर इज 60 एंड आउट ऑफ 60 क्वेश्चंस स्टूडेंट्स आर सपोज टू अटेम्प्ट ओनली 50 क्वेश्चंस सेक्शन ए से उन्हें 24 में से कोई भी 20 क्वेश्चन करना है सेक्शन बी में 22 में से 18 क्वेश्चंस, सेक्शन सी टोटल 12 क्वेश्चन में से 10 क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्ट करने हैं और सेक्शन डी जो है इसमें टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस टू हैं एंड बोथ द क्वेश्चन आर कंपलसरी तो दोनों ही क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्ट करने हैं तो इस तरह से टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन टू बी अटेम्प्टेड इज 50। सैम्पल पेपर का इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है कि ऑल क्वेश्चन कैरी इक्वल मार्क्स सारे जो क्वेश्चन हैं वो इक्वल मार्क्स के हैं होंगे टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन टू बी अटेम्प्टेड इज 50 एंड टोटल मार्क इज 40 तो पर क्वेश्चन जो मार्क है वो 0.8 होगा एंड देयर इज नो नेगेटिव मार्किंग इन दिस पेपर सेक्शन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हु एमंग द फॉलोइंग वॉज द ऑथर ऑफ द बुक द स्टोरी ऑफ इंडियन आर्कियोलॉजी ऑप्शन आर ए आर ई एम व्हीलर बी जॉन मार्शल सी एस एन रॉय डी राखाल दास बैनर्जी एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज एस एन रॉय क्वेश्चन नंबर टू Who among the following was the first director general of the Archaeological Survey of India? Options are Alexander Cunningham, B. Harold Hargreaves, C. Dayaram Sahni, D. John Marshall. And answer is option A. That is Alexander Cunningham. Question number three: Which one of the following religious practices was seemed to be unfamiliar and unusual with the Harappan culture? A mother goddess B priest king C yogic posture seal and D sanskritic yagnas and the answer is option D that is sanskritic yagnas question number 4 which of the following is the oldest stupa in india and was commissioned by the mauryan king ashoka options are shanti stup B amravati stup C sanchi stup and D Nagarjun Konda stoop and answer is option C that is Sanchi stoop question number 5 which one of the following aspects describe the meaning of tirthankaras in jainas options are a supreme being who is the incarnation of god b those who guide men and women across the river of existence c those who follow the path of vedant asceticism and d those who know the ultimate truth of dharma and answer is option b that is those who guide men and women across the river of existence question number 6 which of the following empire used gold coins for the very first time in the first century ce options are gupta empire b mauryan empire c kushan empire and d yadhe empire and answer is option c that is kushan empire question number 7 which of the following city of the harappan civilization was exclusively devoted to craft production of shell objects options are a kot dg b kalimangan c manda and d chand hudro and answer is option d that is chand hudro question number 8 who among the following was the composer of prayag prashasti options are a kalidas 
बी कलहन सी हरिसेन डी बाणभट एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज हरिसेन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इन द डोमेस्टिक आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ हरप्पा देयर वर नो विंडोज इन द वॉल्स अलोंग द ग्राउंड लेवल आइडेंटिफाई द पॉसिबल कॉज मैंशन बाय द आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन ए इट वॉज अ कस्टम बी टू मेंटेन प्राइवेसी सी नो कंसर्न ऑफ वेंटिलेशन डी पार्ट ऑफ अनप्लान प्रोसेस एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी टू मेंटेन प्राइवेसी क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन द कंपोजिशन ऑफ महाभारता हैज बीन ट्रेडिशनली एट्रीब्यूटेड टू अ ऋषि आइडेंटिफाई हिज नेम फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन ऑप्शन आर ए ऋषि कांडा B Rishi Kapila C Rishi Agastya and D Rishi Vyas and answer is option D that is Rishi Vyas question number 11 who among the following traveled in Vijayanagar empire in the 15th century and was greatly impressed by the fortification of the empire and options are A Durante Barbosa B Abdul Razak C Colin Mackenzie D Domingo pace and the answer is abdul razak that means option b question number 12 who among the following was the first woman to be ordained as a bhikkhuni options are a maha pajapati gautami b yashodhara c mahamaya d dhamnanda and answer is option a that is mahapajapati gautami question number 3 which of the following statement is correct regarding mahanavmi dibba and options are a mahanavmi dibba was the part of the king's palace complex b mahanavmi dibba was a part of sacred center c mahanavmi dibba was a counseling hall and D Mahanavmi Dibba was a discussion hall and answer is option A that means Mahanavmi Dibba was the part of the king's palace complex question number 14 Krishn Dev Rai belonged to which of the following dynasties options are A Sangam dynasty B Tullu dynasty C Aravid dynasty and D Sullu dynasty and option is B that is Tullu dynasty. Question number fifteen: The mid first millennium BC is often regarded as the turning point in world history. Which of the following is a significant aspect relating related to the statement? Options are: Thinkers of the world try to understand mysteries of the existence. B development and expansion of the usage of coins. C emergence of early states in the form of महाजनपदास एंड डी गनाज एंड संघास वर असिस्टेड बाय स्टैंडिंग आर्मीज एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट मीन्स थिंकर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मिस्ट्रीज ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन हु एमंग द फॉलोइंग गुरुज ऑफ सिक्स कंपाइल श्री गुरु आदि ग्रंथ साहब ऑप्शन आर गुरु तेग बहादुर बी गुरु अर्जुन देव सी गुरु नानक देव एंड डी गुरु गोविंद सिंह and answer is option b that is guru arjun dev question number 17 why is the harappan script called enigmatic choose the correct reason from the following options a it resembles the hagiographic script of egypt b it has too many symbols between 600 and 1000 in number c it was written from left to right and d its script remains undeciphered till date and answer is option d that means its script remains undeciphered till date question number 18 who among the following was the best known ruler of the satvahan dynasty options are option a yagn shri satkarni b simuka satkarni c gautami put shri satkarni डी वशिष्ठ पूत सातकर्णी एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज गौतमी पूत श्री सातकर्णी क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स द 
compilation of Vinay Pitak, the Sut Pitak and Abhidham Pitak are called as options A. Deepvansh, B. Tripitak, C. Mahavansh and D. Ashokavdan and answer is option B that is Tripitak. Question number 20. Which of the following temples was used only by Vijayanagar rulers and their families? Options are A. The Vithal Temple, B. Virupaksh Temple, C. Hazara Ram Temple and D. Raghunath Temple. And answer is option C. That is Hazara Ram Temple. Question number 21. Who among the following was the author of the book Arthashastra? Options are A. Bimbisar, B. Ajat Shatru, C. Chanakke, D. Bindusar. And here answer is C. That is Chanakke. Question number 22. Which of the following languages was spoken by Rayas and Nayakas in the Vijayanagar Empire? Options are A. Malayalam and Telugu, B. Kannad and Telugu. C. Tamil and Telugu, D. Sanskrit and Telugu and answer is option B that is Kannad and Telugu. Question number 23. Which of the following battles weakened Vijayanagar kingdom? A. Battle of Talikota, B. Battle of Panipat, C. Battle of Mysore and D. Battle of Travancore and answer is option A that is Battle of Talikota. Question number 24. Who among the following Begums provided money for the preservation of Sanchi Stoop? Options are A. Sah Jahan Begum, B. Noor Jahan Begum, C. Rukaiya Begum, D. Noor Unnisa Begum and option A is the correct answer that is Shah Jahan Begum. Section B. And question number 25. Which of the following options given in Sangam text accurately describes Vellar and Adimai as two categories of peasants in South Indian villages? Options are A. Vellar, a plowman and Adimai, a landowner. B. Vellar, a landowner and Adimai, a peasant. C. Vellar, a peasant and Adimai, a landlord. And D. Vellar, a landowner and Adimai, a slave. And answer is option D. That is Vellar, a landowner and Adimai, a slave. Question number 26. Read the following information and identify the practitioners of a sub-discipline of archaeology. They are the specialists in ancient animal remains. They try to study and understand the Harappan's subsistence strategies through animal bones and found at Harappa sites that and indicated that Harappan domesticated few animals. Options are A. Archaeobotanist, B. Archaeogeologist, C. Geoarchaeologist and D. is Anthropologist and answer is option B. That is Archaeogeologist. Question number 27. Which of the following pairs associated with Buddha symbolic representation is incorrect? A. Empty seat, meditation of Buddha. B. Wheel, sermon of Buddha. C. Bodhi tree, birth of Buddha. D. Stupa, Maha Parinibban. And here, option C is the correct answer that is Bodhi tree, birth of Buddha. Question number 28. Identify the character of Mahabharat with the help of the following information. Guru or mentor of Karvas and Pandvas and second is did not accept Eklavya as his disciple. Options are A. Guru Vasisht, B. Guru Vyas, C. Guru Sandipani, D. Guru Dronachare and answer is option D. That is Guru Dronachare. Question number 29. Which of the following statements about Mahajanpada are correct? First, Mahajanpadas were Magad, Kausal, Gandhar and Avanti only. Second, most Jahan 
most Mahajanpadas were ruled by kings. Third, some known as Ganas or Sanghas were oligarchies ruled under Rajas. And fourth, each Mahajanpada had a capital city which was often fortified. And options are A, 1, 2 and 3 and B, 2, 3, 4. C, 1, 3, 4 and D, 1, 2 and 4 and answer is option B that is 2, 3 and 4. Question number 30. Two statements are given in the question below as assertion A and reasoning R. Read the statements and choose the appropriate option. Assertion A. From approximately 500 BCE, norms were compiled in Sanskrit texts known as Dharm Sutras and Dharm Shastras. Reason R. Brahmanas laid the codes of social behavior for the society in general. And options are A, both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. B, both A and R are true but R is not the correct explanation of A. C, A is true but R is false and D, A is false but R is true. Here, option A is the correct answer. Question number 31. Which of the following options is the best probable explanation? for the incorporation of the Sal Bhanjika motive in the Sanchi Stoop. A. Mahaparinibban B. Strength and Wisdom C. A special symbol D. Religious symbol and answer is option C that is a species symbol. Question number 32. Consider the following statements. First. The Harappan civilization was the development of urban centers. Second, the most distinctive feature of Harappan cities were the carefully planned drainage system. And third, Harappan roads and streets were laid out along an approximate grid pattern. Which of the above statements are correct about Harappan civilization? And here answer is option D that is 1, 2 and 3. Question number 33. Identify the character of Mahabharat with the help of the following information. First, belong to the Rakshas clan. Second, married with Bhim. And third is mother of Ghatotkach. And options are A. Hidimba, B. Subhadra, C. Draupadi and D. Gandhari and the correct answer is option A that is Hidimba. Question number 34. He was called as Devnam Pier and Pier the Sea. He ruled the Indian subcontinent from approximately 268 to 232 BCE. He is remembered for the propagation of Dhamma. Who among the following ruler has been described in the above information and the options are A. Ashoka B. Chandragupta Maurya, C. Samudragupta and D. Ajat Shatru and answer is option A that is Ashoka. Question number 35. Match the following. Here some archaeologists their names are written in the first column and in the second column their role or contributions are written. Alexander Cunningham uh, I'll directly give the answer in this question. Here option A is the correct answer that is Alexander Cunningham, the first Director General of Archaeological Survey of India. B. Dayaram Sahni discovered seals at Harappa. C. John Marshall announced the discovery of a new civilization that is fourth. And D. R. E. M. Wheeler brought a military precision in the archaeology. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अब्लिक आर करेक्ट अबाउट द विजयनगर एम्पायर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इट्स फर्स्ट डायनेस्टी वॉज द संगम डायनेस्टी सेकेंड तुल्लू वर रिप्लेस बाय द अरावेद थर्ड कृष्ण देव राय बिलोंग टू द सुल्लु डायनेस्टी एंड फोर्थ हरिहरा एंड बुक्का वर फ्रॉम अरावेद डायनेस्टी एंड हेयर आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट अबाउट विजयनगर एम्पायर आर करेक्ट दैट इज Its first dynasty was the Sangam dynasty, and Tullus were replaced by Aravedu. Question number thirty-seven. The twelfth century witnessed the emergence of a new movement as Virshaiv tradition. This continues to be an important community in the region to date. Our understanding of this tradition is derived from vachanas composed by women and men. who joined the movement which of the following statement is correct about this tradition first a that is it emerged in kerala b it was led by baswanna c their followers were known as nayanars and d they supported the idea of caste and theory of rebirth here option is option b that is it was led by baswanna is the correct answer question number 38 here some name of the rulers are written ruling dynasties are written and in the second column regions where these dynasties uh, ruled regions are uh, given so in this question we have to choose the correct pair and here the correct pair is option a that is cholas they ruled over tamil nadu is the correct answer question number 39 read the following information given in the box carefully statement 1 she was a rajput princess from meerta in marwar and second statement she considered lord krishna as her lover and the question is identify the name of the devotee of sagun bhakti from the following options options are a andal b gargi c mirabai and d maitri and answer is option c that is mirabai question number 24 read the following statements first is krishna dev rai's rule was characterized by expansion and consolidation second there was peace and prosperity in his empire third he was credited with building some fine temples and fourth he was defeated in the battle of rapsi tangri which of the above statements are related to krishn dev rai and here answer is option b that is One, two, and three. Question number forty-one. Fill in the blanks. Strategy used by Harappans for procuring raw material may have been to send expeditions to areas such as the Dash region of Rajasthan for copper and South India for gold. Select the appropriate option, and options are A. Khetri, B. Alwar, C. Vagad, and D. Marwar. And option A, that is Khetri, is the correct answer. Question number forty-two: Which one of the following teaching is not associated with the teachings of Mahavir or Jain philosophy? Options are A. The entire world is animated. B. Ahimsa. See the cycle of birth and rebirth is not related to karma and the monastic existence is a necessary condition of salvation Here option C is the correct answer Question number 43 Which one of the following statement related to Buddhism is not correct Options are A pilgrims such as Vahyan and 
Yuan Zhang travel from China to India for knowledge. B. Bodhista were perceived as deeply compassionate beings. C. Bodhista accumulated merit through their efforts and used it to attain Nibban. And D. Mahayan literally means the great vehicle. And here answer is option C that is Bodhista accumulated merit through their efforts and used it to attain Nibban. Question number 44. Read the following statements regarding Sufism in India. First option is they turned to asceticism and mysticism in protest against the growing materialism. Second, they sought an interpretation of Quran on the basis of their experience. Third, Amir Khusro was the disciple, disciple of Sheikh Nizamuddin Aliya. And fourth, Sheikh Moinuddin Sizi was from Delhi. Which of the following statements are correct? And here, option A is the correct answer. That is, statement 1, 2 and 3 are correct. Question number 45. Given below are two statements, one labeled as assertion A and the other labeled as reason R. Assertion A, Krishna Dev Raya's rule was characterized by expansion and consolidation. Reason R, Vijayanagar kingdom acquired land between Tukbhadra and Krishna river due to its military preparedness. From the above assertion and reason, find out which one of the following is true? Option A, both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A, B, both A and R are false, C, A is correct but R is not correct, D, R is correct but A is not correct. Here, option A is the correct answer that is both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Now question number 46. Look at the figure below. Which school of art is evident on the image of Buddha? Here options are A. Gandhara school of art B. Mathura school of art C. Greco-Roman School of Art and D. Amravati School of Art and here option A that is Gandhara School of Art is the correct answer. Now section C case based questions. In this section 12 questions are there in total and attempt any 10 questions question uh, a read the following source carefully and answer the following mcqs by choosing the most appropriate option Drobdi's question Drobdi is supposed to have asked yudhishthir whether he had lost himself before staking her two contrary opinions were expressed in response to this question one that even if Yudhishthir had lost himself earlier, his wife remained under his control. So, he could stake her to that an unfree man could not stake another person. The matter remained unresolved. Ultimately, Dhritarasht restored to the Pandvas and Drobdi their personal freedom. Question number 47. To whom did Drabdi ask these questions after losing in the dice game? A. Yudhishthir B. Duryodhan C. Dhritarasht and D. Bhishm and answer is option A that is Yudhishthir. Question number 48. Why did Drabdi raising these questions and options are she wanted to know her position as a wife. B. She wanted to challenge the Kauravas. C. She wanted to instigate the Pandvas for the war and D she wanted to humiliate the Pandavas and here option A is the correct answer that she wanted to know her position as a wife. Question number 49 how did 
Draupadi react to her humiliating treatment? And options are A. She raised the legal issues of property and ownership. B. She challenged context of patriarchal marriage. C. She symbolized the figure of the ultimate lord, master and owner. And D. She cried in shock and dismay at the treatment that she faced as a wife. And here option B that is she challenged context of patriarchal marriage is the correct answer. Question number 50. How did Dhritrasht react at the end? And options are Dhritrasht restored personal freedom to the Pandvas and Draupadi. B. Dhritrasht compelled the Pandvas to stay with Kaurvas. C. Dhritrasht ordered Duryodhan to apologize. And D. Dhritrasht called Yudhishthir to restore their power. And here option A is the correct answer. That means Dhritrasht restored personal freedom to the Pandvas and Draupadi. Question number 51. How did you evaluate the position of Draupadi as a wife on the basis of this case? A. She objected over the behavior of her husbands. B. She had the property rights like her husband's. C. The family had complete rights over her. D. She was having hatred feeling for her husband's. And here answer is option C. That means the family had complete rights over her. Question number 52. How were Draupadi's question related to womanhood? Options are A. She raised the question on the status of the woman. B. She look, sorry, she took stand for patriarchal norms. C. She raised all passive nature questions. And D. She quietly accepted her plight. And here, option A is the correct answer. That means she raised the question on the status of the B. Read the following source carefully and answer the following MCQs by choosing the more appropriate option. 1. Lord. Here is a composition attributed to Kabir. Tell me, brother, how can there be no one Lord of the world but two? Who led you so astray? God is called by many names. Names like Allah, Ram, Kareem, Keshav, Hari and Hazrat. Gold may be shaped into rings and bangles. Isn't it gold? All the same. Distinctions are only words we invent. Kabir says they are both mistaken. Neither can find the only Ram. One kills the goat, the other cows. They waste their lives in Disputation. And question number 53. Identify the contortion Question number 53. Identify the contention of Kabir from the following options. A. Monotheistic aspect. B polytheistic aspect C atheistic aspect and D theocratic aspect and here option A that is monotheistic aspect is the correct answer question number 54 Kabir used different names for God or the supreme power what can one infer from this and options are concept of ultimate reality B. Faith in Sagun Bhakti. C. Rituals. A way to gain insight. And D. Reality is in worshipping idols. And here, option A. That means concept of ultimate reality is the correct answer. Question number 55. 
how has kabir's composition promote communal harmony at large and options are a kabir mentions about one god in all b he questioned religious practices c he was a hindu by birth d he was an islamic by birth here option a is the correct answer that means kabir mentions about one god in all question number 56 which of the following is the part of kabir's philosophy a he gave emphasis on traditions and rituals b he used connotations as sabd or sunne c he gave emphasis on yagnas and sacrifices d he was a fundamentalist in his approach and here option b is the correct answer question number 57 kabir's poetry has a literary as well as philosophical significance select the most appropriate option from the following that describes his essence a god is one who just has different names b god is vested in all sagun forms c god is a philosophy in isolation from rituals d god is based on reincarnation and here option a is the correct answer god is one who just has different names question number 58 read the following statements regarding kabir and select the appropriate option statement 1 kabir was a nirgun saint second he believed in formless supreme god third he wanted to remove the differences based on caste and religion fourth he condemned the superstitious cult and rituals and here option c is correct that means statement 1 2 3 and 4 all the statements are true now section d it is a map based questions and it contains question number 59 and 60 and both the questions are compulsory in the given outline map of india identify the location with the help of specified information here question number 59 on the political map of india a that is here A is marked as major Ashokan inscription rock edicts identify it among the following option A Girnar B Sopara C Sanuti and D Shishupalgarh and here answer is option A that is it is Girnar question number 60 on the same map B is also marked as the important towns of 2nd century BCE identify it from the following options option a is mathura b barukaksh c shravasti and d is puhar and puhar that is option d is the correct answer question number 37 the 12th century witnessed the emergence of a new movement as virshav tradition this continues to be an important community in the region to date our understanding of this tradition is derived from vachanas composed by women and men who joined the movement which of the following statement is correct about this tradition first a that is it emerged in kerala b it was led by baswanna c their followers were known as nayanars and d they supported the idea of caste and theory of rebirth here option is option b that is it was led by baswanna is the correct answer question number 38 here some name of the rulers are written 
ruling dynasties are written and in the second column regions where these dynasties uh, ruled regions are uh, given so in this question we have to choose the correct pair and here the correct pair is option a that is cholas they rule over tamil nadu is the correct answer question number 39 read the following information given in the box carefully statement 1 she was a rajput princess from meerta in marwar and second statement she considered lord krishna as her lover and the question is identify the name of the devotee of sagun bhakti from the following options options are a andal b gargi c mirabai and d maitri and answer is option c that is mirabai question number 24 read the following statements first is krishn dev rai's rule was characterized by expansion and consolidation second there was peace and prosperity in his empire third he was credited with building some fine temples and fourth he was defeated in the battle of rakshi tangri which of the above statements are related to krishn dev rai and here answer is option b that is 1 2 and 3 Question number forty-one. Fill in the blanks. Strategy used by Harappans for procuring raw material may have been to send expeditions to areas such as the Dash region of Rajasthan for copper and South India for gold. Select the appropriate option. And options are A. Khetri, B. Alwar. C Vagad and D Marwar and option A that is Khetri is the correct answer question number 42 which one of the following teaching is not associated with the teachings of Mahavir or Jain philosophy options are A the entire world is animated B ahimsa C the cycle of birth and rebirth is not related to karma and D monastic existence is a necessary condition of salvation here option c is the correct answer question number 43 which one of the following statement related to bodhism is not correct options are a pilgrims such as fahyan and zhuangzang travel from china to india for knowledge b bodhista were perceived as deeply compassionate beings c bodhista accumulated merit through their efforts and used it to attain nibban and d mahayan literally means the great vehicle and here answer is option c that is bodhista accumulated merit through their efforts and used it to attain nibban question number 44 read the following statements regarding sufism in india first option is they turn to asceticism and mysticism in protest against the growing materialism second they sought an interpretation of quran on the basis of their experience third amir khusro was the disciple disciple of sheikh nizamuddin aulia and fourth sheikh moinuddin sizzi was from delhi which of the following statements are correct and here option a is the correct answer that is statement 1 2 and 3 are correct question number 45 given below are two statements one labeled as assertion a and the other labeled as reason r assertion a krishn dev raya's rule was characterized by expansion and consolidation reason r vijayanagar kingdom acquired land between tugbhadra and krishna river 
due to its military preparedness from the above assertion and reason find out which one of the following is true option a both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a b both a and r are false c a is correct but r is not correct d r is correct but a is not correct here option a is the correct answer that is both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a now question number 46 look at the figure below which school of art is evident on the image of buddha here options are a gandhara school of art b mathura school of art c greco roman school of art and d amravati school of art and here option a that is gandhara school of art is the correct answer now section c case based questions in this section 12 questions are there in total and attempt any 10 questions question uh, a read the following source carefully and answer the following mcqs by choosing the most appropriate option dropdi's question dropdi is supposed to have asked yudhishthir whether he had lost himself before staking her two contrary opinions were expressed in response to this question one that even if yudhishthir had lost himself earlier his wife remained under his control so he could stake her to that an unfree man could not stake another person the matter remained unresolved ultimately dhritarashtra restored to the pandavas and dropdi their personal freedom question number 47 to whom did dropdi ask these questions after losing in the dice game a yudhishthir b duryodhan c dhritarashtra and d bhishma and answer is option a that is yudhishthir question number 48 why did dropdi raising these questions and options are she wanted to know her position as a wife b she wanted to challenge the kauravas c she wanted to instigate the pandavas for the war and d she wanted to humiliate the pandavas and here option a is the correct answer that she wanted to know her position as a wife question number 49 how did dropdi react to her humiliating treatment and options are a she raised the legal issues of property and ownership b she challenged context of patriarchal marriage c she symbolized the figure of the ultimate lord master and owner and d she cried in shock and dismay at the treatment that she faced as a wife and here option b that is she challenged context of patriarchal marriage is the correct answer Question number 50 how did dhritarashtra react at the end and options are dhritarashtra restored personal freedom to the pandavas and dropdi b dhritarashtra compelled the pandavas to stay with kauravas c dhritarashtra ordered duryodhan to apologize and d dhritarashtra called yudhishthir to restore their power and here option a is the correct answer that means dhritarashtra restored personal freedom to the pandavas and dropdi question number 51 how did you evaluate the position of dropdi as a wife on the basis of this case a she objected over the behavior of her husbands b she had the property rights like her husbands c the family had complete rights over her d she was having hatred feeling for her husbands and here answer is option 
she that means the family had complete rights over her question number 52 how were draupadi's question related to womanhood options are a she raised the question on the status of the woman b she look sorry she took stand for patriarchal norms c she raised all passive nature questions and d she quietly accepted her plight and here option a is the correct answer that means she raised the question on the status of the woman b read the following sources carefully and answer the following mcqs by choosing the more appropriate option one lord Here is a composition attributed to Kabir. Tell me, brother, how can there be no one Lord of the world but two, who led you so astray? God is called by many names, names like Allah, Ram, Karim, Keshav, Hari, and Hazrat. Gold may be shaped into rings and bangles, isn't it? Gold, all the same. Distinctions are only words we invent. Kabir says they are both mistaken neither can find the only ram one kills the goat the other cows they waste their lives in disputation and question number 53 identify the contortion Question number fifty-three. Identify the quotation of Kabir from the following options: A. Monotheistic aspect. B. Polytheistic aspect. C. Atheistic aspect. And D. Theocratic aspect. And here, option A. That is. monotheistic aspect is the correct answer question number 54 kabir used different names for god or the supreme power what can one infer from this and options are concept of ultimate reality b faith in sagun bhakti c rituals a way to gain insight and d reality is in worshiping idols and here option a that means concept of ultimate reality is the correct answer question number 55 how has kabir's composition promote communal harmony at large and options are a kabir mentions about one god in all b he question religious practices c he was a hindu by birth d he was an islamic by birth here option a is the correct answer that means kabir mentions about one god in all question number 56 which of the following is the part of kabir's philosophy a he gave emphasis on traditions and rituals b he used connotations as sabd or sunne c he gave emphasis on yagnas and sacrifices d he was a fundamentalist in his approach and here option b is the correct answer question number 57 kabir's poetry has a literary as well as philosophical significance select the most appropriate option from the following that describes his essence a god is one who just has different names b god is vested in all sagun forms c god is a philosophy in isolation from rituals d god is based on reincarnation and here option a is the correct answer god is one who just has different names question number 58 read the following statements regarding kabir and select the appropriate option 
स्टेटमेंट वन कबीर वॉज अ निर्गुण सेंट सेकेंड ही बिलीव्ड इन फॉर्मले सुप्रीम गॉड थर्ड ही वॉन्टेड टू रिमूव द डिफरेंसेज बेस्ड ऑन कास्ट एंड रिलीजन फोर्थ ही कंडेम द सुपरस्टिशियस कल्ट एंड रिचुल एंड हेयर ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट दैट मीन्स स्टेटमेंट वन टू थ्री एंड फोर ऑल द स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू नाउ सेक्शन डी इट इज अ मैप बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एंड इट कंटेन्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन एंड सिक्सटीन एंड बोथ द क्वेश्चन आर कंपल्सरी इन द गिवन आउटलाइन मैप ऑफ इंडिया आइडेंटिफाई द लोकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्पेसिफाइड इंफॉर्मेशन हेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर Fifty nine on the political map of India A, that is here. A is marked as major Ashokan inscription, rock edicts. Identify it among the following option: A. Girnar, B. Sopara, C. Sanuti, and D. Shishupalgar. And here. answer is option a that is it is girnar question number 60 on the same map b is also marked as the important towns of second century bce identify it from the following options option a is mathura b barukaksh c shravasti and d is puhar and uhar that is option d is the correct answer ab hum log uh, sample paper ka chapter wise analysis karenge to term 1 mein total number of chapters coming is six chapters aur sample paper ke according jo first chapter hai greeks beads and bones isme section a se सिक्स क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए हैं सेक्शन बी से फोर क्वेश्चंस तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन इस सैंपल पेपर में फर्स्ट चैप्टर से टेन क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए हैं चैप्टर टू किंग्स फार्मर्स एंड टाउन्स इसमें सेक्शन ए से थ्री क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए हैं सेक्शन बी से थ्री क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए हैं और सेक्शन डी दैट इज जो मैप से रिलेटेड सेक्शन है क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एंड सिक्सटी ये चैप्टर टू से पूछा गया है तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम चैप्टर टू इज एट चैप्टर थ्री किनशिप कास्ट एंड क्लास सेक्शन ए में इस चैप्टर से दो क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं सेक्शन बी से तीन क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं सेक्शन सी से जो कि केस बेस्ड सेक्शन है सिक्स क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम चैप्टर थ्री इज इलेवन चैप्टर फोर से सेक्शन ए में सिक्स क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं सेक्शन बी में फाइव क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम चैप्टर फोर इज इलेवन चैप्टर फाइव दैट इज भक्ति सूफी ट्रेडिशन सेक्शन ए में इस चैप्टर से एक क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है सेक्शन बी में तीन क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं और सेक्शन सी जो कि केस बेस्ड सेक्शन है सिक्स क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन इस चैप्टर से टेन पूछे गए हैं जो लास्ट चैप्टर है एन इम्पीरियल कैपिटल विजयनगर इसमें सेक्शन ए से सिक्स क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए हैं सेक्शन बी से फोर क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं तो इस चैप्टर से टोटल टेन मार्क के क्वेश्चंस इस इस चैप्टर से टोटल टेन क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए हैं तो इस तरह से टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस सिक्सटी हुए ये जो सेक्शन डी है ये मैप बेस्ड क्वेश्चन है बेशक इस सैंपल पेपर में जो मैप बेस्ड क्वेश्चन है चैप्टर टू से पूछा गया है लेकिन ये क्वेश्चन चैप्टर वन इस चैप्टर से टोटल टेन क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए हैं तो इस तरह से 
टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस 60 हुए ये जो सेक्शन डी है ये मैप बेस्ड क्वेश्चन है बेशक इस सैम्पल पेपर में जो मैप बेस्ड क्वेश्चन है चैप्टर टू से पूछा गया है लेकिन ये क्वेश्चन चैप्टर वन से भी आ सकता है चैप्टर फोर से भी आ सकता है चैप्टर सिक्स से भी आ सकता है और मैप का क्वेश्चन जिस चैप्टर से आएगा उस चैप्टर के नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन दूसरे सेक्शन से रिड्यूज हो जाएंगे